Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to use the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool from Microsoft to download a Windows 10 ISO or burn it right to a flash or DVD drive. I'll link to this page in the description so you can get here. You can download right directly from Microsoft with one of these two links. If at the time, and this will change over time, there are two choices. Go with a higher number unless you know better. Microsoft typically doesn't allow the ISO out until it is secure enough for widespread release. So in this case, the higher number is 1903. We're going to click that. And once you do, your download will automatically start. And you can save it. And then you can open your downloads and begin. Uh, we're going to get started on this by double clicking the media creation tool. And as we move forward, I'll have to pause once we get the download started. But we're going to give you a couple of options that you can do while using the Windows 10 media creation tool. One of the first ones that's going to be coming up shortly is the ability to choose a different language, 32-bit, 64-bit, or both. The Windows 10 media creation tool will already decide for you what is best. As long as it is, you can just go ahead and click Next. That'll come up in just a minute, and we'll show you that. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're thinking about burning to a DVD, Windows 10 does not fit on a single DVD anymore. You would need to have a double-sided or dual layered DVD, except the terms, because of the size. So your better bet I recommend is looking around or purchasing a minimum of eight gig flash drive. They are very cheap nowadays, so it's not that expensive. Now another option will be, you don't have to necessarily burn it to a flash drive right now. You can actually save it as an ISO to your computer, which we're probably gonna do here, just so that you have a hard copy of it. After you go through all this, you don't wanna have to do it again. This way, you can extract it with, say, WinRAR, PZIP, one of the popular unzipping programs, and you can extract it anywhere you want. In my case, I've actually extracted the ISO on this operating system right here and just put it on the hard drive here, and I was actually able to upgrade by double-clicking setup inside of all the files I extracted. So here's your choices. You can upgrade this PC now, but for this guide, what we want to do is create installation media. As you can see, as we discussed, USB flash drive, DVD, or an ISO file. So once again, we're going to go with the ISO. Here's the part we mentioned. There's English, Windows 10, 64-bit. That works for me, so I'll click Next. If you want to get 32-bit or download both, so you have a copy. That's one of the reasons you need over 8 gigs for storage if you download both. I'm going to leave it be, and I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And once again, if you have the flash drive, plug it in. Click USB flash drive. Click Next, and it will ex download and extract everything to a bootable flash drive for you. We're going to save the ISO file, as mentioned, and go ahead and click Next. Save it any name you want. So I know this is Windows 1903, so I'm going to modify it so I know what it is when I see it later. So I'll say Windows 10 1903, or just leave it alone. It'll be Windows ISO. Save it somewhere you can find it, say your download folder. Click Save, and you're going to see a progress bar while this goes ahead and downloads. I'm gonna hit pause while we wait for this, unless you wanna look at a blank screen for the next, gosh, only knows how long. So we will be right back. And as you can see, we're now back. If you're wondering about how long it'll take to download, I finished my cup of coffee, almost fell asleep. So figure about half an hour should do it. So once it gets done, as you can see, Somehow you're at 100% but not done. We'll uh, get this saved and then we will show you for those who are interested and in how to do this with WinZip. So I'll show you that in the background real quick if you're interested while this is finishing up. I haven't used 7-Zip, I'm sorry, in a long time, so that's what we're going to use. It's free. It's our most popular program in this category, which is Drive Utilities. You can find it right here. Then you click the compression category, and that brings you to where you could choose something else if you like. Now, I haven't used 7-Zip in a long time, so we're going to kind of learn together, just because you never know. So while this is going in the background, let's install 7-Zip so that we can use it. Here it is. Double click. And the 7-Zip install is like any other installation you've ever done. It's relatively simple to do. Pick your destination folder here and click Install. Click Close. And then start. Where'd she go? 7-Zip File Manager. So we'll get that started up. Now that we know we're here, we will wait until this is done. However, you will need to find where it is so you can find your computer or you can look through your drives here. Your best bet would be, I believe, computer. 
and I was wrong. See, we started out already screwed up. Documents and settings. Because in our case, we saved it to download. Let's go back up. Let's try this. Yeah, same thing. Uh, it's a network. Told you I didn't know what I was doing. Too bad they didn't have a link right to it. Kind of difficult here. Users, your name, downloads. Wow, that was fun. Here's your media creation tool. We're still waiting for the file to finish. Let's see where we're at. Man, that was painful. And I'm going to have to hit pause again. All right, we're moving towards 95% now. Speaking of 7-Zip, I wanted to use that as an example for you. Sometimes people are afraid to ask help, and sometimes they're embarrassed. The reason I picked 7-Zip, because even though it's the most popular tool on our website in that category, I wanted you to see that just because we do guides and just because we do videos, we don't know everything. We never do. Nobody does. Neither do you. Never be ashamed to ask. There are no stupid questions, as I just proved. So... As you can see, you can now burn it to a DVD. I don't know why that's the option. They don't give you the option to go to your thumb drive, but that's okay. What you can do now is you can actually click finish because we've accomplished what we wanted to do. And that is, there it is, Windows 10, 1903. As you can see, it's 4.1 gigs before you extract it. Uh, it's worth mentioning if you click view, show your file name extension if you don't see it, then you can see it's a Windows 10 as we named it 1903 ISO. Now, by coming back here, we can find Win10 1903 ISO inside of 7-Zip. Double-click it, and you can see everything that's in it. There's your setup. That's what you're going to run. So let's go back up. What you want to do is have this highlighted and click Extract, and then decide where you want to put it. We're going to leave it right where we are. And as you can see, this is your folder name it's going to put it in. So it's going to be Users, Tim, Downloads in my case with a subfolder called Windows 10. You can uncheck that and just dump it right into downloads if you want. And there's a few other options. You can password protect it, but that's not important for us. Let's go ahead and click OK. And let's wait. Well, one of the reasons I use WinRAR, even though it's shareware, is it's a little faster and a little easier to use. A lot of these free ones, at least in my opinion, just aren't as friendly and fast as WinRAR. So you could download it, use it for this one case, and then uninstall it if you like. That's up to you. So we'll give this just another second here to finish up. And keeping in mind, there's quite a few files in there. Hit close. You actually can close that now. And as we discussed, there is your folder. So what you can actually do with this now is you could use your control A. And you see how that highlights it. And if your thumb drive's there, you could just drag and drop it over to your thumb drive, let go. And it's as simple as that. If you want to upgrade, you just can click Setup right here, and it'll start the Windows 10 Setup. But at least this way, you now have the ISO. And you could save either one. You could actually delete the ISO now if you wanted. And save the folder with it extracted, just as an option. And let's uh, close that for now. And let's take a quick look here at the size so that you're aware of it. And there's your four gigs. So you're going to probably have trouble when it extracts to a DVD. Don't ask me why. It should fit. It doesn't. Oh, wait. What was the other thing it said in there real quick? Size 3. Point, there you go. 4.2. So, yeah, you'll have trouble fitting that on a DVD. So, once again, go to a thumb drive. And there you go. So now you can decide which one you want to keep. If you've got the space, you can keep your Windows 10 folder right here wherever you want. You don't have to extract it again. You don't need 7-Zip again to open this up. So... Simple as that. And there you go. Hopefully we got you through how to install Windows 10, how to extract it, and how to get going. So if you've got it on a thumb drive now, simply shut down your computer, restart your computer, and it should boot from the thumb drive and get you started on a Windows 10 installation. So any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I really do my best to answer any questions I can. And as always, we thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.